the Quran, the book of Allah, the speech of Allah is perfect speech. It is the best communication in existence. Nobody communicates better than Allah. We communicate, but all of our communication was taught by Allah. Our teacher is Allah. Nobody speaks on this earth except that Allah taught them. So when He speaks, you cannot compete with it. There's no comparison. Now when Allah has perfect speech, what does that mean? That means He has the best content. Number one, He has the best content. What's number two? He has the best style. And He's always considerate. He's always very accurate about His audience. Every surah in the Qur'an, even sometimes passages in the Qur'an have a very specific audience. Allah talks to one audience one way. Allah talks to another audience another way. Allah talks to Jews one way. Allah talks to Christians another way. Allah talks to mushrikun in the first year of the seerah one way. And Allah talks to the mushrikun in the tenth year of the seerah another way. The audience is different. The people who come to visit Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah gives ayat to tell them. There's different ayat. Allah does not say to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I already revealed tawheed to you, pick one of the surahs and tell them. No. He gives them a special ayah, special surah for them, because they need a special message, you understand? So when we talk about Surah Ar-Rahman today, we have to understand something about its content. But if you really want to under, understand its content, you have to understand its style. And if you want to understand its style, you first and foremost, before anything else, you have to understand its, fill in the blank, audience. Who was Allah talking to when Surah Ar-Rahman was revealed? Most accounts are that Surah Ar-Rahman is either early Madani, and most, most are that it's actually late Makki. And from the style of the surah, it appears to be a Makki surah. It's a late Makki surah. Now what was happening in late Makkah? The mushrikun had become extremely stubborn. They did not want to hear the message of Islam. They said, we've been listening to this for 10 years. It's the same speech over and over again. Even Allah says, كَذَلِكَ نُصَرِّفُ ayat." We keep changing the ayat. The message doesn't change. The ayat change. And they say, yeah, we've heard everything already. Stop. We don't want to hear this anymore. We're not interested. And it's not enough that they're not interested. They start attacking the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَإِذَا عَلِمَ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا شَيْئًا اتَّخَذَهَا هُزُوًا Every time he came to know something about the Qur'an, something about our ayat, he tried to make a joke out of it. So it's not only that they're not interested, now they make fun of the Qur'an, when the Qur'an is recited. لا تسمعوا لهذا القرآن وألغوا فيه لعلهم يرجعون Don't listen to this Qur'an, make noise when the Qur'an is being recited. The believer is told, فَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنِ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنْصِتُوا When Qur'an is recited, be quiet. Listen carefully. فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ Listen carefully. وَأَنْصِتُوا And stop talking and listen. أَنْصِتُوا in Arabic means two things. Number one, stop talking. And number two, listen, both. وَأَنْصِتُوا You know? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ so, And they said, uh, they said, don't listen to this Qur'an, make a lot of noise. This is what they said. In other words, they became extremely stubborn. Now I have two minutes left. I didn't finish my introduction, but I want to leave you with one point. Teenagers are playing football. Teenagers are playing basketball. Teenagers are hanging out and somebody bumps into you. Teenagers have very hot temper. What you do? <laughs> and they're ready to fight. And when they're about to fight, the friend holds you back. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let me go. You know, and he doesn't want to, he wants to fight. So your friend who's holding you back says to you, calm down. Calm down. Now, your friend says to you, calm down how many times? One time? When your friend says, calm down, you say, oh, I, I didn't realize that I should calm down. I should sit down and sip on some tea now, like you don't do that. <laughs> if because you're crazy at that time, he says, calm down, calm down, hey, calm down, hey, listen to me, listen to me, calm down, relax, relax. He says it 10 times. And you are so angry at the time, maybe, maybe you heard it one time. Maybe. And then you listen. Because at that time, you are stubborn. When you are stubborn, you cannot be told something one time, you have to be told 
Lots of times. The people of Makkah had become what? Stubborn. So Allah says, Fabi ayi ala irabbikuma tu kathiban, Fabi ayi ala irabbikuma tu kathiban, Fabi ayi ala irabbikuma tu kathiban. Maybe you will get it one time if it's said that many times. You understand? You ha that, that is the style of this surah. But the style is there for a reason because it's talking to a certain kind of audience. Doesn't that change your perspective on the surah? Hello.